Today we're going to demonstrate the emergency start procedure for the engine. Uh, if you have a look here, Carolyn will just swing the camera down. This little black box on the side of the engine is called an MDI or a mechanical diesel interface and it has lots of cables coming out of it because it translates information from the engine's sensors to the digital controls and display so that you can start and stop the engine from out in the cockpit. Uh, so the emergency start procedure is to first, this relay here, can you see that one? Yep. Remove this relay and this could be a bit of a struggle, so we'll see how we go, but we might just edit a bit. I think it's coming. It's coming! So, well it's an emergency procedure, you don't want it to be a, an instant emergency procedure. There it is, a nice TE relay. Then you take the cable that you prepared, prepared beforehand He's and it needs to be plugged in to the starboard and port side terminals. So it's just going there. And if you're in a real emergency you can just use a paper clip for this and we have in the past to practice. There it is. So you've got the cable jumped there to there. I'm now going to turn the um, power on to the engine and then there's a button up here. Can you see this Carolyn? There's a, a starter button here that you press and the engine should start. Engine start battery is on. Here we go. I don't think I pressed it hard enough. Oh, it's cold. Well, take two. Um, the engine's a bit warmer now, so, well, it was cold before. Um, so we've had it running, uh, we, we don't have any fuel leaks, but this is how to do the emergency start. As you can see, I have removed that relay. Let's get some more light on this subject. Here we go. That relay there has been removed. I've got a jumper cable from the pin there to the pin there, the port and starboard pins, starboard center ones. And then here's the start button here. It's a bit of a stiff push. But we'll give it a go. Keep your hands free from anything that'll rip your arms off. Let's see what we can do. All right. So there we go. That's how to start your engine. If the MDI box fails, that's how to get it started. And around here, can you see that stop lever there, Carolyn? Yeah, you can see it. So this is how you stop the engine. Bingo. So you can start and stop it even if the MDI box here um, fails. Uh, there's a fuse in there that's worth checking, but um, if that if the engine is um, not startable uh, by the controls out in the cockpit, that's how you can start it manually. Okay, bye for now. See ya. Bye.